please enjoy the outtakes from my previously recorded interview with author Valerie Barrow. When John and I walked into Mutajulu Springs, which is where I was initiated, I mean in this life, by the giantess who told us she was the eighth black sister that held the energy here and was been waiting all this time for the eighth white sister's energy to come, which of course she that's why I was initiated. So I've come as a messenger for the eighth sister who has come has returned and with the message message is that it is time now for the earth to uh, raise in consciousness and become one with the rest of all these beautiful planets that exist in other worlds and um, so it was, <laughs> it's very special and, and the reason we went in this time was um, when I it was sort of about an hour before sunset so the sunset the sun was still quite high really it might have been even earlier than that but all the top of the rocks that I took uh, were gold, beautiful gold. So you think, oh, and I'm thinking, oh my goodness, Alcharinga's here. He resides here and he's turned the top of the rock gold, <laughs> which was wonderful. Um, I came to see the word Alcharinga, and <clears throat> they said it's one of the few words um, from the Aboriginal language, because now there's many, many languages, but there was only one in the first place. They described the Alcharinga as uh, an ancient creator. Uh, Spirit. They also say he was known as the Golden One, and he says he resides at Uluru. So all of that ties in with the story that what we've been given as well. <laughs>